This is the ROG Keras Wireless, and Asus sponsored this video looking at what might be one of the most interesting high performance slash mobile gaming mice on the market. It's using a PAW3335 sensor, which means you get high end specs like 16,000 DPI sensitivity, along with excellent tracking characteristics. But unlike the PMW3389, which is Pixar's top of the line sensor meant to compete with Logitech's Hero sensor, this one is lower power consumption, making it suitable for, well, wireless applications. So you can see it's a tri-mode mouse. Basically you've got 2.4 gigahertz wireless, I have no idea what the power indicator means. I guess we'll figure that out soon enough. Maybe it means wired mode. And then you've also got Bluetooth. And what's really impressive about this thing is that in spite of the fact that it's only 79 grams and it's a wireless mouse that boasts about 80 hours of battery life without the LEDs on and about 60 hours with the LEDs on, they've managed to implement USB type C. You still do see a lot of even modern mice that are using USB micro B and the reason for it is that it decreases the complexity of the electronics in the mouse and USB type C is not strictly speaking necessary for a mouse. So it's an easy way that you can save a little bit of cost and save a little bit of weight. Personally, I'm really happy to see USB-C though because it is a wireless mouse and it is something that you're gonna be plugging in regularly to charge. So it's nice to not have to, you know, peek around and see which way it needs to go in. You just pop it in like that and boom, you're ready to go. On the bottom, we've got the typical slippy pads and a DPI as well as pairing button. And this is really nice. Can I just take a moment? Here's a hot take for you guys. Any wireless product that does not have a place to dock the dongle is trash and should be thrown in the trash. I'm sorry, it, is it not true? It is true. It's 100% true. Because the reality of it is that even though the vast majority of the time I'm gonna be using this mouse, it's gonna be at my gaming PC where there's no risk of me losing anything, every once in a while I might travel somewhere or use it with my laptop or lend it to somebody. And if there's no safe, secure place to put it, that is just a completely unnecessary and stupid way to destroy an otherwise perfectly good product. Or if not destroy, at least add a whole bunch of cost and hassle trying to replace the wireless dongle. The cord that ASUS includes is a really nice paracord cord, which is sort of unusual for a wireless mouse. Usually they go with something just kind of basic because the assumption is you'll be using it wireless the vast majority of the time, but hey, they didn't do that. And in terms of other pertinent specs, it operates at a thousand hertz and I don't know, is anything else relevant? You can use their Aura software to control the RGB. It's really light. And if you're kind of like uh, somewhere in between, either you have really small hands and you like a palm grip like me, <laughs> or you have small to medium hands and you prefer more of like a claw grip, I think you're gonna find it pretty comfortable. On the left side, you got forward and back buttons. Your scroll wheel is clickable, but other than that, it's pretty basic in terms of your inputs. The features are more about the wireless connectivity and performance. Now this is fun though. It actually comes with extra switches if you prefer a different feel in your gaming mouse. Check this out. Oh yeah, replacement slippy pads too. Let's go ahead and figure out what the process is for swapping these out. Can I just pop this up? You can learn all kinds of useful things from manuals, okay, Jono? Like for example, like you can press this button combination to go to breathing and this one to go to color cycle, except I think it's in, yeah, it's in connection mode. Hey, there you go, see it's working. Working as intended. Replacing this Oh gosh darn it, I need a screwdriver. I was mostly just curious, but now I feel like I'm committed to it. <laughs> it's pretty nice to be able to replace these, not just because it allows you to fine tune the feel of the mouse for your preference, but also because your click, particularly your left click, is the most likely point in a mouse to fail other than ooh, maybe the scroll wheel. So having the option to just swap it out like that, it's pretty sweet. I cannot figure out how the hell to get this back on. <laughs> ah! See, it's gotta go kinda in like, oh yeah, there we go, okay. Interesting, okay, so you can really hear the difference now that they're both in the mouse. So that's the Omron, that's the ROG. So if you want more of a traditional mouse feel, then you want the Omron one, and if you want that really kinda tight, clicky feel, then the ROG switch might appeal to you. I'll stick with the ROG switch, I'm gonna give them a chance. Oh, this is hilarious. I didn't even notice 
You can put color accented side buttons on. Are you rolling right now? Yes. They've got pink ones. Okay, that is awesome. All right, Jono insists I not talk entirely about the pink buttons and nothing else and also address the RGB. So let's launch Armory Crate then, shall we? Okay, so you can go, oh wow, reactive. What does that do? There you go. So it like reacts when you click it. That's cute. Of course, there's other stuff you can configure here, like your lift-off distance, your power settings, so you can tell it when to go to sleep and when to alert you with the lights. It'll start flashing red when the battery is low. You can update firmware. And of course, change all of your DPI intervals, adjust angle snapping and all that good stuff. All of this looks fine already anyway. So may I play video games now? Maybe. Thanks. You know what? By the time this video goes up, we're gonna be very close to these desk pads being back in stock. And I couldn't help noticing this mouse tracks excellently on it. All right, here we go, Master Chef. Pew, pew, pew. When you're playing on legendary difficulty, but the game is designed for like a controller. Can you change weapons again? Ah, tab, oh. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's switching back to the old uh, original graphics. Wow, that looks so bad. <laughs> yeah, you don't realize how bad it was until you look at something kind of modern looking by comparison. The strongest weapon in the game. Yeah, I know, right, so it'll be. <laughs> Oh my oh. god, I died! <laughs> Where's my allies here? I think they all died. They all died? <laughs> oh, no. oh, get out of here. Oh, I'm not gonna... <laughs> I don't even care anymore. I'm not gonna blame the mouse. The mouse is fine. Thanks for watching Short Circuit. I'm out of here. <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs>